गुरुर् ब्रह्मा गुरुर् विष्णु गुरुर् देवो महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्मा तस्मे श्री गुरुवे नम तस्मे श्री गुरुवे नम तस्मे श्री गुरुवे नम ओके तो जय श्री गुरुदेव टू एवरी वन लेट स्टार्ट दिस सेशन फर्स्ट थिंग बेसिक थिंग अबाउट वट इज सिद्ध योग सिद्ध योग मीन्स द योग विच इज इम्पावर्ड नॉर्मल योगा इज अ डिफरेंट योगा विच इज यू नो यू नो अबाउट इट सम फिजिकल एक्सरसाइज सम आसनास प्राणायाम विच इज डन बाय द डिसाइपल वेन टीचर सिट्स आउटसाइड एंड इंस्ट्रक्ट्स यू टू डू समथिंग फिजिकली मीन्स सिट लाइक दैट डू दिस एंड दैट बट इन सिद्ध योगा इट हैपन्स ऑटोमेटिकली फ्रॉम विद इन दिस इज इम्पावर्ड इट इज डन बाय द कुंडलिनी सो वेन गुरुदेव श्री राम लाल जी सियाग इनिशिएट्स यू विद द डिवाइन मंत्रा डिवाइन संजीवनी मंत्रा द डॉर्मेंट कुंडलिनी अवेक्स अप एंड स्टार्ट्स मेकिंग यू डू योगा इफ यू नीड एनी काइंड ऑफ योगा फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ क्योर फिजिकल और मेंटल डिसीजेज आर देयर एंड यू नीड अ क्योर देन पर्टिकुलर क्रिया विल हैपन अकॉर्डिंग टू योर बॉडी कुंडली विल कुंडलिनी विल मेक यू डू योग बट समाइम्स मैनी प्रैक्टिशनर्स डू नॉट गो अंडर गो एनी काइंड ऑफ योगी क्रिया सो इट इज़ नॉट अबाउट इट इज़ नॉट द टॉपिक ऑफ वरी दैट आई एम नॉट गोइंग थ्रू एनी क्रियाज वैदर माई कुंडलिनी हैज़ अवेक और नॉट वैदर माई जर्नी हैज़ स्टार्टड और नॉट तो बेसिक इफ यू नो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो वैदर द थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग वैदर कुंडलिनी इज़ अवेक वैदर यू आर ऑन द पार्थ ऑफ स्परिचुअलिटी देन वट इज़ द मिरर ऑफ योर प्रैक्टिस इट्स योर इट्स योर करेक्टर इट्स योर बिहेवियर सो इफ यू आर चेंजिंग फ्राम विद इन दैट मीन्स इट इज़ गोइंग इट इज़ गोइंग गुड बिकॉज द आउटपुट ऑफ द सिद्ध योगा मीन्स टू चेंज यू टू ट्रांसफॉर्म यू इन टू अ बेटर ह्यूमन बींग दैट इज द पर्पज सो वट हैपन्स इन अ सिद्ध योगा गुरुदेव इनिशिएट्स यू विद द डिवाइन मंत्रा यू कैन हियर दैट मंत्रा ऑन द इंटरनेट एंड वंस यू हियर दैट यू नीड टू चांट दैट मंत्रा विदाउट मूविंग योर लिप्स एंड टंग थ्रू आउट द डे एज मच एज पॉसिबल ड्यूरिंग द मेडिटेशन टू टाइम्स यू नीड टू डू टू टाइम्स मेडिटेशन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स इन द मॉर्निंग फिफ्टीन मिनट्स इन द इवनिंग ड्यूरिंग द मेडिटेशन जस्ट थिंक ऑफ गुरु सियाग पिक्चर ऑन योर फोर हेड एंड सिट फॉर फिफ्टीन मिनट आस्क फॉर द फिफ्टीन मिनट्स मेडिटेशन प्रे टू गुरुदेव गुरुदेव आई एम गोइंग थ्रू दिस फेस ऑफ माई लाइफ और दिस प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ माई लाइफ प्लीज मेक मी सिट फॉर फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ऑफ मेडिटेशन एंड मेडिटेट ऑन गुरुदेव्स फोटो वाई वी शुड मेडिटेट ऑन अ ह्यूमन फोटो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन अ सेशन अ डे बिफोर दैट वाई शुड वी नॉट थिंक दैट गुरु इज अ ह्यूमन ही इज एलिमेंट एंड एंड द डिटेल इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट दिस टॉपिक दिस कन्फ्यूजन दैट वाई शुड आई मेडिटेट ऑन अ ह्यूमन दिस डिटेल कन्फ्यूजन विल बी सॉल्व आउट इफ यू गो एंड वॉच द डे बिफोर सेशन सेशन नंबर फोर ऑल राइट द हैडिंग इज ऑल्सो मैंशन अवर दियर सो यू नीड टू चार्ट द मंत्र एज मच एज पॉसिबल एंड नीड टू डू टू टाइम्स मेडिटेशन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ईच ऑल राइट एंड यू नीड टू सरेंडर टू गुरुदेव एंड यू मस्ट मस्ट थिंक दैट योर गुरु इज नॉट अ ह्यूमन ही इज द पर ब्रह्म अंटिल एंड अनलेस यू गिव ड्यू रिस्पेक्ट टू योर गुरु योर मास्टर यू कैनॉट प्रोसीड ऑन दिस पाथ नो मैटर वॉट यू डू हाउ मच लॉन्ग यू डू मेडिटेशन वॉट क्रियाज हैपन टू यू हाउ मच यू डू द चांटिंग एंड ऑल द मेन थिंग इज टू बिलीव इन द गुरु फेथ इन द गुरु दैट इज मेन थिंग ऑल राइट लेट स्टार्ट नाउ वी हैव कवर्ड बेनिफिट्स ऑफ द सिद्ध योग इन द लास्ट सेशन पॉइंट्स टू रिमेंबर वॉज द लास्ट टॉपिक वी डिड नाउ नेक्स्ट टूडे बिकॉज दिस इज जस्ट एन हाफ एन आवर सेशन सो वी विल बी नॉट वेस्टिंग ऑन टाइम ऑन एनी थिंग बट विल क्विकली स्टार्ट इट द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज फिलोसफी ऑफ सिद्ध योगा वट गुरुदेव सेस अबाउट फिलोसफी ऑफ सिद्ध योगा इन हिज लैंग्वेज इन हिज वर्ड्स he says brief background siddha yoga is based as we said it's not yoga it's a yog so we mention in english yoga but the exact word is siddha yog all right so if i pronounce it yoga then i'm just going with the flow what is written the actual word is yog siddha yog is based on the philosophy of yog as propounded by ancient sage matsendra nath ji and codified later by another sage patanjali in a treatise title titled yoga sutra 
several thousand years ago according to mythology matsendra nath ji was the first human to learn of yoga from lord shiva who is the embodiment of the eternal supreme consciousness in the letters celestial abode in the himalayas the sage was asked to gift the knowledge of yoga to mankind for its salvation the knowledge and wisdom contained in yoga was handed down from ages to ages in the time honored guru shishya master disciple tradition guru is therefore an institution in the yoga tradition which is central to the practice of yoga what is yoga now comes the main topic what is yoga yoga means union with the divine yoga is considered an integral tool of the vast body of vedic hindu literature that covers the whole gamut of indian spirituality the yoga sutra containing just 195 aphorisms lucidly elucidates the eight stages of the ashtang yoga eight fold yoga which a seeker passes through as he progresses along the spiritual path yoga is immensely beneficial in curing bodily and mental diseases and restoring restoring and harmonizing the psychophysical balance in a human body however using it for this purpose alone is to leave out its sole aim liberating the seeker from the bondage of karmas actions which tie him down to the potential cycle of life and death if you remember in just in starting the session i said if there is no kriya happens the practitioner should not worry about it because the main goal is to the transformation same thing here seen liberating the seeker from the bondage of karmas actions how we do something and after getting into the yoga how we do the same thing with the different perspectives with the different thinking the entire thing from inside changes so uh, this is the behavior changes this is the main aim so slowly you you transform into the satvik person and in the end even you liberate from the satva karma so transformation from the tamas to rajas rajas to satva satva to beyond these three gunas so this is the transformation and how we know that we are transforming that is our behavior our character towards the towards the everyone outside uh, okay liberating the seeker from the bondage of karmas actions which tie him down to the potential cycle of life and death yogic philosophy recognizes the subtle link between the human body and the cosmic supra mental consciousness it is very important point how we are linked to the super conscious if we see our body we we look at our body only that we are body but if we think ourselves as subtle conscious then we know we are connected to the super conscious supra mental conscious which is responsible for the body's very creation a potent force lies dormant at the base of the spinal column in every human body because it is coiled around the base of the spinal column in three and a half spirals the ancient sages called it kundalini the coiled one like a snake okay next is shikta shaktipat diksha avikans of kundalini when guru dev when you listen the divine mantra uh, the holy divine sanjeevani mantra in guru dev's voice what happens shaktipat is a sanskrit term which combines two terms shakti feminine divine energy and path passing off or transmission of it literally means transmission of feminine divine energy from one person to another however this meaning is not correct when the term shaktipat is used in the siddha yoga system this is because it is an acknowledged fact in the yogic scriptures that feminine divine is present in every human body though it lies dormant so there is no question of shakti being passed from one person to another sometimes you know people are so misguided that there is something negative energy entered into me i took initiation and something negative energy is has entered into me this is absolutely a misconception because nothing goes from outside to inside this is two different world in within we are subtle outside everything is the matter so whatever 
is affecting me affecting just my body not my conscious so there is no point i go mad while i am doing the meditation because that is not possible nothing transform from outside to inside there is a guna tamas guna which exaggerate when we come into the contact of outside negativity everything is within us if you do the meditation if something is happening you are not feeling like good it is not something enter you from the outside it is something within and that needs to come out you know to get you free to get you rid from that thing so you should never worry about that the sanjeevana sanjeevini mantra will never harm anybody if anybody is chanting this mantra no negative effect can happen on him it is just we have inside something wrong and it is coming out when we are chanting the mantra so we should not worry about it we should keep chanting the mantra and let the effect take off and get rid of it in 5 days 7 days whatever it happens sometimes so we should not worry about it people do must misguide oh kriyas are happening your head is moving something has entered into you the kriyas look real sometimes weird outside person if he is seeing somebody is doing a kundalini meditation he will think oh my god what is going on any ghost has entered in his body or her body it's not like that when somebody looks from the outside it's a kundalini kriya you need to that for your body some kriyas need a proper you know action in your body a movement which can cure that particular nadi which is blocked it need to open with that kriya only so basic kriya in the kundalini is moving your head like this or your body like this because kundalini when it awakens like a snake like this like thus this that is why the ancient sages called it like a snake so it rise up like this so body generally moves like this or head generally moves like this in circle so you need not to worry while looking at the kundalini kriyas sometimes it's very vigor you know people shake very vigorously so sometimes we think oh what is happening so nothing is happening after 15 minutes it will cool down you need that movement in your body kundalini will never harm you if you if you awaken it under the proper guide who's who's who has the potential to awaken it who has the guidance to uh, you know to do this work gurudev ramlal ji syag is absolutely capable and potent guru about uh, this siddhi yoga he has orders from his guru he is following a lineage of ai pant so once you comes under the guidance of gurudev ramlal ji syag you need not to worry about that you are perfectly secure all right shakti path is a process by which a siddha guru a spiritual empowered master awakens this dormant shakti in a seeker's body the awakening of this shakti which is called kundalini marks the initiation of the seeker into siddha yoga a seeker who is so initiated then becomes the disciple of a guru who awakens his kundalini guru syag therefore says that a guru does not give or pass on a spiritual consciousness <coughs> okay <clears throat> guru syag therefore says that a guru does not give or pass on a spiritual consciousness to his disciple a guru doing shakti path is like a lighted lamp which lights another lamp which has got all the necessary fitting ready and is waiting for the catalyst to light it up so guru here becomes the catalyst who lights the spiritual lamp in a disciple and shows him the true path leading to his di- disciples spiritual evolution to the fullest a siddh guru can carry out the shakti path process through any of the following four ways four methods first is physical touch a siddh guru can awaken kundalini by simply touching a seeker a guru may do this by replacing his hand on the head or by touching the center of of the seeker's forehead According to the mythological text Mahabharata Lord Krishna initiated his favorite devotee Arjuna the warrior Pandava into yoga by hugging him and holding him close to his heart for a moment Krishna initiated another legendary devotee Dhruva by lightly touching his Dhruva's cheek with his conch say the Puranas wow 
Okay, second method is by sight. A guru may initiate the seeker by simply looking into the eyes of the seeker with the intention of awakening his kundalini. Indian spiritual literature is uh, replete with antidotes about various siddhas, gurus awakening their flowers, shakti by merely looking uh, at them, looking at them with compassion. And there is many gurus which do that. Uh, <coughs> in ancient uh, scriptures, we read about many potential gurus, those who have done this by just looking at their disciple and they get initiated. So these are the four ways. Divine word. Next is divine word. A guru may awaken a seeker's kundalini by giving him a divine word or a mantra to chant. Here the word is divine because it is charged with the cosmic consciousness embodied by Guru. The mantra acts as a trigger to awaken the dormant Kundalini and prods her constantly to rise through the seeker's body, purify it and make it ready for his further spiritual evolution. This is what Guru Syak does. He gives you the Sanjeevani mantra. Fourth is making a resolve. This is the rarest mode of Kundalini awakening because here the initiative lies with the seeker and not with the guru. It is very rare. A seeker in this method does not approach the guru for the formal initiation or for Kundalini awakening. He merely makes a rock solid resolve described as Sankalpa to get initiated by the guru he wishes to follow. Since the guru is the very embodiment of divine cosmic consciousness, the seeker's strong resolve is instantly received by the guru. Sankalpa is the manifestation of the seeker's total devotion or surrender of his ego to Guru. Since this kind of devotion is the prime qualification for receiving divine grace, the Guru in this case is duty bound to initiate the seeker, making such a Sankalpa. The Mahabharata makes a mention of a rare case in which Iklavya, the legendary archer, got initiated into yoga by merely making a resolve plea before an inanimate idol that he had made in the likeness of his guru Dronacharya to favor him with initiation. Iklavya's plea was so intensely sincere that guru Dronacharya's cosmic conscious had to respond positively to it through though he was not present there in person. Some yogic systems also treat this method as another form of meditation. The Guru Syak system combines divine word mantra and sankalpa resolve to initiate seeker into siddha yoga now this is very important information is written gurudev gives you the mantra that is his duty from the disciple also need a sankalpa a strong resolve that gurudev i am accepting you as my guru and i fall on your path so this is very important from the student part also Importance of Mantra Jap. Now, the Mantra Jap, what is the importance of Mantra Jap? Sometimes we see, okay, is it important to do the Mantra Jap? Can't we sit and do just meditation for the 15 minutes? Because we are very busy, we may not be able to chant the Mantra all the time. So, if we do not chant the Mantra, what will happen? So, this is here given the importance of the Mantra Jap. All the major religion in the world, despite their intrinsic mutual differences hold a unanimous view that the entire universe with its animate and inanimate parts was created out of the divine word. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were for made by him and without him was not anything made that was made in him was life and the life was the light of men says the bible the hindu or the vedic religion is no exception to this concept of god being the divine word of our religion of our origin it acknowledges om as the sacred syllable the divine sound out which the god created this universe out of this divine word evolved variations of potent vibratory sounds capable of connecting with specific planes of cosmic consciousness on subtle level for which they were created. Each of these sacred vibrations sounds was called mantra. In the scripture, as it originated from the tantra, 
द टेक्निक ऑफ स्पेसिफिक वेज ऑफ प्रोनाउंसिंग द डिवाइन वर्ड टू अचीव स्पेसिफिक रिजल्ट द मंत्रास दे आर फॉर फॉर्म द वेरी बेसिस ऑफ द इंडियन स्पिरिचुअल डिसिप्लिन हाउ एवर दिस नॉलेज इज सीक्रेट बिकॉज ऑफ द ग्रेट पोटेंसी ऑफ इच मंत्रा टू इम्पैक्ट द फिजिकल एज वेल एज द स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड पॉजिटिवली और नेगेटिवली अंडर द स्पिरिचुअल डिसिप्लिन अ मंत्रा इज पॉर्टेंट ओनली वेन इट इज गिवन बाय द स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर टू सम वन हुम ही हैज बीन एक्सेप्टेड एज अ डिसाइपल द रिपीटिशन ऑफ मंत्रा कॉल्ड जपा जाप और जपा रिजल्ट इन फुल यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ इट्स पोटेंशियल मेयर रीडिंग ऑफ अ मंत्रा फ्रॉम द टेक्स्ट वुड बी एन एक्सरसाइज इन फ्यूटिल फ्यूटिलिटी एज द वर्ड वुड लैक द डिवाइन वाइब्रेटरी साउंड विच ओनली अ गुरु वेल वर्ज इन स्पिरिचुअलिटी कैन गिव इवन एन इलिटरेट पर्सन लैकिंग नॉलेज ऑफ स्क्रिप्चर्स और फिलोसफी कैन देयर फोर एक्सपीरियंस फुल पोटेंशियल ऑफ अ मंत्रा इफ ही रिसीव्स इट फ्रॉम द गुरु एंड प्रैक्टिस इट अंडर हिज गाइडेंस इन द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो वी विल मेक यू हियर द मंत्रा इन गुरुदेव्स वॉइस सो दैट यू गेट फुल बेनिफिट ऑफ गेटिंग इनिशिएटिव when mantras are directed to the lower level of the consciousness they often end up as a spells with the destructive or protective powers however when they are used for reaching the higher planes of consciousness they can take the practitioners to greater heights of spiritual awakening and eventual freedom from the cycle of birth and death this is a very important paragraph okay why lower lower why lower chakras are can be destructive and protective powers because below heart chakra the three chakras where this world we live into is the darkness is the illusion all right so it is very important to follow the guru's instruction so that we do not get lost into the darkness of the illusion it is very important okay so that is why a guru a potent guru is very important for the stu- for for the for the disciple not any mantra you picked up and you kept on doing that it might have something you know in the darkness which might give you problems so a proper guru is must the silent repetition of the mantra is called naam jap after continuous chanting of the mantra for over the fortnight for or for a month the disciple doesn't have to make an effort to chant the chanting happens automatically on its own whether he or she is awake or sleeping this state is known as ajapa jap in the first session we talked about ajapa jap roughly translated as involuntary chanting when chanting of the mantra is accompanied by the regular meditation it slowly unleashes a wave of ananda bliss which is so soothing that the disciple feels he or she is on high and doesn't want to come out of it indian saints have described this state of ananda as intoxication without drugs the ananda brought on by the mantra and meditation is incomparable to the calming effect of calming effect of any addictive drug because it does not depend on any external inducement and lasts forever this is the reason why a disciple initiated into siddha yoga by guru syag is freed from drug addiction completely and irrevocably given below is an excerpt 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 from the book Shri Aurobindo or the adventure of consciousness by Shri Aurobindo's disciple Satprem Guru Syag often cites this section to explain the power of the mantra There exist in India a secret knowledge based on sound and the differences of vibratory modes according to each plane of consciousness If we pronounce the sound om for example we clearly feel its vibration envelop the head centers while the sound ram touches the navel center and since each of our centers of consciousness is in direct contact with a plane we can by the repetition japa or jap or certain sounds make contact with the corresponding plane of consciousness this is the basis of an entire spiritual discipline known as tantric because it derives from the sacred texts called tantra tantra is not a bad thing tantric is not a bad thing just people you know with their bad knowledge they spoiled this this word but the mantra shastra the kundalini comes from the tantra the fundamental of the fundamental of essential sounds which have the power to make contact are called mantras the mantras always secret and given to the disciple by his guru are 
of all kinds there is a multitude of degrees within each plane of consciousness and may serve the most contradictory purpose by combining certain sounds some one can at a lower levels of consciousness generally with a vital level make contact with the corresponding forces of the acquire quite strange powers there are mantras that can kill in 5 minutes with violent vomiting mantras that can strike with precision in a particular part of the organ of the bodies mantra that can cure mantras that can start a fire or protect or cast spell this type of magic or chemistry of vibration simply proceeds from the conscious handling of lower vibrations that is why lower world is little you know illusion or darkness but there is a higher magic which also proceeds from the handling of vibrations but on higher planes of consciousness this is poetry music and spiritual mantras of the upanishads and the vedas the mantras a guru gives his disciple to help him consci- consci- consciously consciously make direct contact with that plane of consciousness the force or divine being here the sound holds in itself the power of the experience and realize realization it realization it is a sound that makes us see all right this is that next come the kundalini the shakti the detail about the kundalini what is kundalini so we'll go with that tomorrow because we'll keep this session this is very important session you must you know uh, understand few things that why it is jaruri to chant the mantra why guru is needed so this is for today and just i will play now you will listen the voice of uh, yoga mean yoga means a union of the soul with god or the universal consciousness force what are the benefits of siddhi yoga siddhi yoga heals cures or frees the body from any physical illness aids various forms of cancers diabetes arthritis asthma and even genetic disease like hemophilia in the case of disease such as aids which attacks the entire body the patient may experience internal kriyas like sensation or heat electricity or tingling according to siddhi yoga philosophy the divine power awakened by the an enlightened guru gets transmitted through his blissful voice to the listeners is respective of language spoken by the guru this divine power transmissions occurs smoothly and remain unaffected by the language being used A regular practice of siddhi yoga strengthens the immune system the kundalini acts as a protective shield of the immune system and wards off the onslaught or recurrence of any disease impact of kundalini awakening the kundalini makes the practitioner perform kriyas that are specific to his needs with this cleaning the practitioner is cured of all kinds of chronic and even terminal disease such as hiv aids cancer arthritis etc and genetic disorder like hemophilia mental application to are completely cured and stress is completely relieved clean krishna clean 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 
क्लिंग कृष्ण क्लिंग so this is the divine mantra uh, the voice may not be very clear because i am playing it on my mobile what you can do you can search guru syag sanjeevani mantra on internet and you will find a very clear voice uh, mantra and you can follow that mantra and you can uh, follow guru syag sathyo okay we will meet tomorrow at 8:30 indian time till then jai shri gurudev